Hello, welcome pen friends. As I'm taping this, it's the night before my trip. So it is right now, it's May 6, 2019. And uh, so the ink journal, ink box, the ink flight came in early. So I thought I'd hop on this opportunity and I'd go ahead and do a little video for you and then schedule it for some time during my vacation so that you'd have something to look at. Um, so here we go. I've already opened it. I've done it a lot differently this time just because of, you know, I wasn't sure I was going to have time, but he here we go. Oh, I want to just say this before I start though. If you don't know what's in your ink box yet, your ink flight uh, subscription, and you don't want to know, this would be a good time to, to get out of the video for now because I don't want to do any spoilers for you. Okay. So um, that way you won't be seeing it before you want to see it okay <laughs> so i'll put the box up and i thought i'd just go through what was in the box of course we had seven ink samples there's always seven and this time oh was i excited uh they are the pelican edelstein inks so and i'm going to just read what they said they said welcome ink travelers before a single pen bore the mark of pelican the company that german chemist carl Hornman started in 1838, primarily made inks, paints, and watercolors. Their first fountain pen friendly ink debuted in 1889. Dozens of varieties with different color properties were organized into numbered series, 2001, 3001, 4001, with 4001 being the remaining descendant of those inks. So we've got seven from the Pelican Edelstein and every sample that I've ever tried of this ink I've loved so there's there's just something about the way the ink uh, behaves and and looks that I've, I've always loved so it's really exciting and in a minute I'll get out the panel but before before I get out the panel I just wanted to show you the other things that were in the box there was this beautiful sticker uh, it says inky goodness and, and apparently that's the shape of the the bottle the pelican bottle now I don't have any in bottle form I have some samples from pelican but it definitely will be in my fountain pen ink future I'm sure to to choose a bottle of their inks they're, they're just so good and that is really a nice sticker and then more stickers which oh I love stickers this is going in my my uh journal that I'm taking with me on my trip uh, right after I do the video I'm going to pack it because it's neat it's all about coffee and stuff it's really cute they're cute cute stickers and then this is so cool I didn't realize at first I thought there was just one there's two little Tamoy River paper notebooks um, in the I think it said b6 slim size let's see it says Kyo Kokio Idea B6 Slim Notebooks, Tamoy River. Woo! It's going to be cool. It is just going to be cool. I love the lightweight 52 gram Tamoy River paper. And it's just, I mean, it, there's a lot more pages there than what you'd think because of it being so thin. So I got out my other notebook. I put it over here. Let's see if I can get it without having an avalanche. Um, this is my uh, cafe note uh, from nanami paper company and it's very similar size it's just a little bit different just a little bit maybe the little slim notebooks are slightly taller but i can't get this unless i want to settle for a dot grid that's too small for me because my handwriting you know you guys have seen it i um you know i write pretty big so that seven millimeter um you know it's perfect for me anyway i'm not sure exactly what these are let's open them and see why not i don't i will probably not take these with me i'll, I'll have to wait to use them till i come back but let's see what's going on okay this is really small that's funny i just said this is really small too but that just the fact that it has that tamoy river paper that'll be really really nice especially for testing inks. They're the same. They've got this tiny little graph grid. But I think probably two of those would do for my writing, I think. So that'll be good. Anyway, they're, oh, it's, it's beautiful feeling paper. That'll be really nice. Gosh, they were wicked generous with the pen goodies this time. I mean, you know, they always are, but that's, that's going to be fun. Okay, i got to put this aside. Now, what I thought we would do is... Um, look at the colors right <laughs> I did this earlier today because I really wasn't sure if I was going to have time to get this video done or not but I wanted to see the colors 
and I was really excited. Turns out I've done full profiles on two of them, so I put those last. I don't, um, so that leaves five when I come back from my Vermont trip. Um, this uh, 4001 turquoise, that's a bright, beautiful ink. And then 4001 brilliant brown. And here's tanzanite. That's pretty. But I was really crazy about this one, the Adventurin. Now, that one is looks complex, and yet it, on the face level, which I think it'll be in a nib, it looks so pretty. It looks that kind of a bright, happy green like I like. And there's Star Ruby 2019. That is a, a really neat color. It kind of, at first I thought I, it was red. It, it kind of looks pink or magenta to me now that I've looked at it. It's really pretty. And then the other two, the, which um, you can find real easily, the, the profiles. And if I have time, I'll link them. But if I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of running on empty, <laughs> empty time here tonight. But, uh, but I do have the Pelican Edelstein Olivine and Aquamarine done in full profile. So I thought what we'd do is, um, I've got some Tamoy River paper here. And I've got uh, my glass nib. Whoops. There goes everything. I thought we would just kind of... Uh, Oh, I'm supposed to have a paintbrush. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I've got the wrong paintbrush in front of me, but we'll just grab any paintbrush. And we'll just go through them and we'll do a little swatch like we did with the Birmingham's. And then I'll go ahead and dip and, and try the ink out with, um, with the glass nib. And that'll give you a little bit of a preview uh, to hold you until we do a full profile. So, Okay, wow, I started right in with one I like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Pelican Edelstein Star Ruby. So let's take a look at that. I mean, we've seen it over there on uh, on the watercolor paper, but it does tend to look different on Tamoy River paper. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing it on that, to seeing all of them on uh, the Tamoy River paper. Let's see. Now, okay, I, I don't know what I got for a paintbrush. This is not my old standby, but I guess that's kind of good. A lot of unknowns are going to come on my trip, too, <laughs> starting with tonight and tomorrow morning's weather. I think we're in the clear tonight, but we're watching some awful storms for tomorrow. So, you know, I'll just hope for the best. Whoops. Okay. Probably not the most organized I've ever been, but we'll get a little ink on that nib. And this nib tends to kind of simulate a medium nib. So we'll get an idea. A little bit of an idea of what the ink looks like coming out of the nib. Let's see here. Okay, I think we're ready now. And I have a lined paper underneath to try to guide me there. <laughs> of course, a lot of ink comes off at first. Jumps over. Oh, that's pretty. Easy dog. Okay, I'm going to do a little figure eight. So I'm going to do a couple hashtags. And then I did fail to write down. And we know they're all Pelican Edelstein. So I'm just going to write the, the ink name. Whoops. Star Ruby. And they did put 2019. Huh. I guess it, just so we know the release release year. Okay, let's see here. Well, wow, that's pretty. Now, even to my eye, that's looking darker right now than what I expected since we saw so much pink. But it's got to dry. That's one thing. And we are dealing with lighting, so we always have to kind of consider that. Um, it's actually cleared off right now, but earlier at lunch, the lunch news, I really shouldn't have watched it because it was like dire predictions for tomorrow. And, and the, really the slightest thing will, will, will probably cause me problems because I have only an hour in Houston. So if some little thunder rumble or lightning delays us here, then they're going to have to, it's a three flight booking, you know, it's the only way I can do it unless I drive quite a long distance. So, um, I'm actually in a pretty good mindset about it though because Mother's Day is not till Sunday so if they can just get me there by then I won't squawk as loud as <laughs> as I will if that gets disrupted I hope not so I'm really looking forward to having 
Mother's Day with my mom. So, and of course, seeing all of my family and friends. But, but I just want to get there. You know, I just want to get there. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> These long trips, ugh, you know, with no control really when you're flying, it's, it's different. Um, not sure driving is any more fun though. It's a long way. So, okay. So this time I think I'll go ahead and put the name of the ink first. I probably. I didn't leave myself any scribble space, so... Okay. Aquamarine. Okay, that looks like... Yeah, that's the one that I really think may become my first bottle. Because I remember it from the other profile. I, I just really loved it. <clears throat> that quick... brown box hopefully by the time you're seeing this I'm up there in Vermont having a good time so <laughs> the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog I actually see foxes at my brother's place um, I used to at my dad's too uh, one time I was walking down the hill and one jumped out in front of me and into the woods on the other side it was so cool I love to see them Okay, there we go. That is just really pretty. And of course, it's looking darker right now. So we've got two issues. We've got the fact that it needs to dry and we've got a dip pen. I'm gonna do just a little more. Just use that up, okay, there we go. All right, that's two. Let's see. All right, next one. Okay, this is the other one that I've done, the Pelican Edelstein Olivine. Now, you know, you may have already seen this and everything, but I think I'll just still do them all. Just get the seven down on the paper here. And this I can hang up over my desk and uh, have it along with the uh, panel. That gives me an idea of what the ink looks like on this paper. Nice. Actually, this brush, hmm. I don't remember getting this brush. It says number 12 round. Huh. I guess it's been a while because I don't remember it. <clears throat> I tend to use the same one till it completely d falls apart, disintegrates, and can't be used anymore. You know, I get used to my brushes, and I don't do well with a new one, it seems like. <laughs> okay. So we're dealing with... Olivine. And they did specify 2018. I wonder why that's like that. Well, we'll find out little by little. This is just the first day with this ink flight. <laughs> Actually, it came in this afternoon, so I haven't had it very long. Oops. Jumps over. The lazy dog. Okay. Hopefully I'll have room to get all of them on this sheet. I hope so. Sometimes I, I take up too much uh, room with one. Wow, that's a really wet nib. I should have done that with the others too. That gives you, that actually gives you another dimension of what the ink looks like when it's a little drier. Okay. I'll try to remember to do that from here on. Okay, let's see. Make sure we don't... Okay, what's next? What is next is tanzanite. Okay, this is like a darker, a really, really dark blue. That's interesting to me. I wonder how it'll look on this. Um, to my river paper. Huh. It sometimes this, a color like this, sometimes a color like this flattens out, but not always. Okay, there we go. I'm not wasting too much ink. I don't like to do that because I'll come back. I'll be trying to <laughs> trying to get it into the Lamy and the Lamy um, Vista is all packed, ready to go. And um, I'm taking Diamine Earl Grey, Ho um, KWZ Hawaii Blue, and hmm, one other. I can't even remember. Oh dear. Oh well, it's purple. It's definitely purple. So it's Tasha Murasaki because that's my favorite purple. So I'm taking three little sample vials like this and three fountain pens. <laughs> okay, tanzanite. 
Oh, I like that. Even as dark as it's coming through, I really like that. My quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. Whoops. Oh, my handwriting. You can tell it's kind of like almost evening or something and I'm starting to <laughs> I'm starting to run out of energy. Okay. There we have it. Oh, let me do that thing I was going to do. Whoops. Well, I smeared everything, but I do like that cuz that you know starts to give you more <clears throat> more of a look at the color since we're dealing with kind of dark with that medium type nib coming out real strong out of that glass nib. Okay, just three left. Uh, 4001 4, turquoise. Okay, well, that water is really headed. Just switch over. <clears throat> I always love turquoise, and this one, oh boy, from the panel, from the watercolor panel, it was so bright and pretty. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's just lovely, lovely. That's right in my area that I love. Of course, I've got, I've got, um, I'm thinking of uh, Noodler's Navajo Turquoise. It makes me think of that. <clears throat> let's see, let's dip. Get on that glass nib a little. I'm getting, whoops, too much on there. <clears throat> okay. So when I get, when I do get back, there will also be then five samples from Birmingham that we can do this with. Okay, what did I say this was? A turquoise, 4001. Oh, that's lovely. Why am I surprised that it looks so pretty coming off the nib? It's pretty to begin with. Okay, the... Oh, that's flowy too. <clears throat> Actually, they all are. You know, not always does the this uh, glass nib feel perfectly smooth <clears throat> so these inks are just very high quality in my opinion <clears throat> nice I didn't I didn't let as much stay on there but it's still nice and smooth and able to keep up even after all that that's pretty good <clears throat> okay two more <clears throat> Adventurin. That is the green one, right? Yeah, that's this one. That's the one I was intrigued with as far as what it was. The complexity that I could see in the on the watercolor paper. I was really interested in that. <clears throat> Oops. Plenty on there. That's pretty. Whoops, okay. Wow, I'm making a mess. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's coming across way too... I guess I didn't get enough of it off the nib. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it wants to be there, so we'll just let it be, I guess. It doesn't really want to come off. <clears throat> okay, I think I spelled that right. Brick. Brown box. Jumps over. I'm afraid you're going to hear the news too because then <laughs> I can hear the news on in the other room. Over the lazy dog. I don't care how many times I watch the weather. It's not going to help me because it all depends on you know, what happens in the moment when they get ready to try to take off. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. I've always really, really, really super envied people who were going from one city to another. Just one flight or even changing only once. But uh, to drive to uh, San Antonio or 
or um, Houston to do that. It just adds another layer of complexity and and time and uh, depending on the time of the flights it, it even adds a hotel room to the whole mix. So usually this is how I just do it is I take my chances and take the little commuter flights on the ends and the one big one in the middle. Okay this is Brilliant Brown. Ooh nice. I like that and um, I like Pelican Brown, regular Pelican Brown very much. I had a sample that was a large sample from somewhere and I've enjoyed that very much. <clears throat> okay, This one uh, seems a little darker than the regular Pelican Brown but I'm not sure. I haven't worked with it enough yet <laughs> to tell. Okay, we're almost there. We do it for the ooh, it's getting a little lengthy, right? <laughs> wow, that ink just loves to stay in those little grooves, huh? Okay. Well, it's a pretty uh, paper towel too. The sun is out now. It's like what a terrible trick this weather's playing on us. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, okay. I got to remember to add 4001. Brilliant. Brown. I think it's going to come across pretty dark right here because of the nib. Okay. But I see things up above are already starting to dry, so we'll get a good look at that. jumps over lazy dog okay Oop. try that again yeah nice well when I remember to do that that actually helps us look at the color but I don't always remember oh I like these I like how the colors they're starting to dry the ones up above have really started to dry. That olivine is so pretty. And the aquamarine is one of my favorites. <clears throat> that one I, oh boy, I, I'm surprised. Well, it's probably about all about my trip that I haven't ordered that ink because that, that's one I really like. So there they are. Let's see. Um, I don't know if we're really seeing anything that's real helpful yet because it needs to dry and everything looks a little dark, but let's get the panel back over here so we can look at it one more time. And then just know that when I do return, I will, um, you know, I'll work our ways through the five that haven't been profiled yet, and it'll be a lot of fun to do that. So let's see. <clears throat> There's our lineup. And the pen goodies were really, really fun. Wow, kudos to them. That nice sticker, the two little um, Tamari River B6 Slim, that's one of my favorite sizes. And then that sticker pack, that's going with me on my trip for sure. I can use it in my, I've got my bullet journal and uh, the tiny little uh, notebook for my, you know, tracking my, my eating really, uh, not, maybe not so heavy on the fasting and low carb while I'm up there. Um, I will stick as close as I can to my plan, but okay. So there we have it. I, what's your favorite so far? Um, I will try to read comments and when I get a chance, you know, like in the evening, whenever I have Wi-Fi and uh, check in with you. But just um, if you would, please be patient because it, it could take me a little bit to uh, get around to comments, to reading everything. And then I just had one more thing I was going to show you. Gosh, I went to pack my um, crystals that I wanted to carry into my new little crystal pouch that I made for myself. And it wasn't big enough. <laughs> in fact, it's like, Okay, I'm putting all this weight into my backpack, but I had to go back to my old style one with the little gusset in the bottom because I realized, hmm, these are the ones I want to take, at least right now, unless I, oops, change my mind during the night. And bless its heart, but this is my black tourmaline that I have become attached to the, the last couple of days. I've been feeling that I needed this crystal, and I don't really question it. I just carry it. So there's, but it's, it's too big for my pocket even. But, and then here is my uh, tiger's eye, one of my favorite pieces, tiger's eye. Um, here's my little carnelian, the orange carnelian. That, that's very, very, it has a nice, nice vibe to it. 
And then the citrine, which I feel like I, I always carry. It just seems like I always have citrine around me. And then this is the, the Howlite. This is a recent one. I had a bigger piece, but thank goodness I have a few pieces here that aren't so big because I just wouldn't be able to carry them. I mean, I can't take all these large ones like this, but that's a nice one for sleep and uh, relaxing and all kinds of good stuff. And then here is a little piece of, um, uh, I know very well what it is, but I'm just like totally amethyst. Good grief. <laughs> I think I've got a lot loaded into my mind right now. It's my, it's my smallest piece, but that'll make it more portable. And then here's a little piece of fluorite. So I did have to revert to this one, um, this larger pouch. And I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to scratch that tourmaline, but it's, it seems pretty rugged. I've been carrying it. It hasn't seemed to give me any, any uh, scratches or anything like that. But there we go. So um, into my backpack. Hopefully the people that do the... You know, the TSA will get it that <laughs> it's just crystals. <laughs> not going to hurt anything. I think I've traveled with them before, so I'm not too worried. Okay, so I'll be back um, later this month, uh, May 2019, with, uh, with some of these profiles, with these five here. And I hope you're having a great day, whatever day it turns out to be when you're watching. So thank you and bye for now.